the fantastic news for us is that DaVinci is now shipping for Mark. Um, we're at version 7.0. Um, people who had a glimpse of it at, um, at NAB would have seen some of the enhancement that, enhancements that we made. Um, since then, we've obviously taken that back into development further, and we've now announced a few more features over the last couple of weeks that are really exciting us with this product. Um, we now have support for Red Rocket, um, we have support for Avid DNX HD, and we also have support for all the ProRes flavors as well. Um, Everybody who knows DaVinci as a company knows that it's a high quality premium brand, um, which is really kind of second to none. Um, the full real-time capability with uncompressed video um, makes this unique amongst all of, it, all of the other co companies out there. Um, anybody who has worked with DaVinci will know that um, this is really high quality, um, very in-depth software um, that, is, that is very, very powerful. I mean, what you're seeing here is on, on our booth at IBC this year is a demonstration of it on Mac, um, where the interface is exactly the same and the usability is exactly the same as what James Cameron used on Avatar. Um, so this is this is this is really a powerful powerful piece of equipment. The great thing about this is that obviously on the Mac version, um, we've made this affordable to everybody, so that everybody can go out and and work with it. Um, we hope that we can create a community of users who've never maybe considered color correction in the past. Um, they can now get their hands on this and, and start to work on, on making their pictures and their product production look, look much nicer. Um, I mean, the other great thing with this as well is that um, we, we obviously offer our Resolve Control Surface, um, which is basically uh, uh, this fantastic space age looking uh, piece of equipment that has a button for everything and makes the process um, you know, really unique. Um, alternatively, if you want to bring across maybe a tangent wave panel from your old colour days when you've been working with colour, um, that is also compatible with Resolve. So, so the Ultrascope for us has been a product that has done very well for us over the last 18 months since its first announcement. Ultrascope is a, is a broadcast quality um, a histogram, a waveform monitor, audio monitoring solution. Um, I mean, the great thing is with this, it's all condensed onto one screen, which means you don't have to actually go out and buy independent equipment, um, which does all this separately. It's all on a, uh, a single software with a hardware card or USB 3 device, um, which means you can also run that on a, on a laptop as well, um, which means that, um, again, it, it brings the, the cost to an affordable area, which means that you're not going out and spending tens of thousands of pounds or euros worth of equi uh, for equipment. Um, this is uh, 575 euros for um, the card which goes inside a PC, or it is 495 for the USB 3 product. Those people who've actually purchased Ultrascopes will know that we've done a couple of updates already. Um, but one of the key features at IBC this year is now the addition of error logging. Um, this is really taking feedback from our customers and taking that back in-house and really trying to give our customers what they request. Um, error logging is, uh, is something that people who, are work, who work with test equipment are familiar with. With the Ultrascope, what it gives you is the ability to see your time code start and end of any particular error, the duration of an error, and then a description of what those errors are. These errors can be things like drop frames, it can be um, differences in the, in the reds, greens and blues in the image, it can be a loss of video, a loss of audio. Um, the, great, the great thing with this is it, is it gives you a real-time view as those errors occur, which means that the actual list grows as those problems actually come through onto the system, um, which means that if you're actually working in an environment, you're not having to wait to the end to actually see if there are any errors. You can actually pick it up as it goes. And it gives you the ability to export a CSV file with all those errors on, um, which means that you can then reference all of those. And if you want to go back later on at the end of your edit or the end of your conform, you can actually then go through that error log and look at where they all are with the start and end code and make those adjustments. Thank <laughs> you.